Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, November 8th, 2022. Of course, everyone's uh, waiting for the ballots outcome today in the midterm election. And this video is devoted specifically uh, to go over the very simple playbook that we have seen time and time and time when Republicans are taking over uh, Congress or Senate or a Republican president comes to power. Uh, these are the simplest trades that you could be uh, putting together on both the call side and the short side. Because normally, uh, Republican win means that uh, there's going to be less regulation. So the first sector to benefit from it always is the banking sector. So stocks like WFC, which is Wells Fargo, can have a phenomenal run. And WFC is not a stock that we normally trade, guys. You know that. But uh, this stock already has a pretty strong run-up, but it wouldn't shock us if the stock hits 50 bucks over the course of the next uh, few days here. So it's at 47 right now. Stock could be heading to 50, 51, which is a huge move. It's not a huge move if you're trading, you know, some high-flying names, but this stock to have a three, four dollar move. In terms of options, guys, I mean, this is potentially a 10x trade, an easy, simple 10x trade. Now, a stock, and, and the options on Wells Fargo are typically, uh, always inexpensive so even if you got like a small account you can get in with 10 20 cents per contract pretty close to the money um and, and see a nice sizable move specifically this week so there's no need like going out buying monthly contracts or anything like that you can buy this week expiration you can do extremely well because the move is here on wells fargo on all the banks okay uh normally a republican win if we go back to the playbook when Donald Trump won, I mean, Wells Fargo produced in terms of options, produced over 3,000% uh, in like three days. Uh, so now, of course, at that moment, the market was caught of surprise. In this particular midterm election, it doesn't look like there's going to be any surprise. It seems like probably some of the sectors and the reason why some of the financials have been running high already is because that Republican win has been sort of uh, the prevalent outcome that the market is uh calculating uh, going into today uh and we're not expecting any surprises this time around so uh, we believe that goldman sachs would be the next one to benefit uh, from a republican uh, win today and as you can see yeah it's run up quite a bit with <laughs> despite of this chart like what looks to be when you're looking at this chart at the top when you look at it five days from now, it could be like, okay, well, why didn't I get in at 360? Why, why, why didn't I do this trade? Okay, so still a ton of bullish things on the chart, a uh, ton of bullish fundamental reasons uh, for the banking sector to continue outperforming a lot of other sectors. Of course, some of the best names uh, in the group uh, would be stocks like JP Morgan. So here, here are basically the top three to be bullish, staying bullish, any sort of dip that you get today in the, in the regular trading session, you'd want to buy because over the next three days, this, this stocks have even a bigger catalyst to uh, run up higher. So now the second uh, group is going to be uh, something that you'll probably be shocked about because uh, you know, lately it just had a lot of negativity, a lot of things, uh, you know, besides us calling the bottom in this group last week, uh, you know, the whole world is still highly bearish on this group and that's uh, the big tech technology stocks. So they have been underperforming for a long, long time. But if we go with the Republican playbook, uh, we know that these are the stocks actually going to highly, highly outperform. Uh, the FANGs had one of the biggest rise right after Donald Trump's win. So uh, considering both factors, the high probability outcome that Republicans will win today, and considering that the technology sector has been up, uh, underperforming substantially, okay, stocks like Apple, uh, Microsoft, uh, Meta, uh, Facebook. Uh, we posted recently a video on Apple, uh, sort of... Uh, going over the four analysts at CNBC, how they couldn't see the bottom. So uh, we've actually sent out the alert on Apple when it was at $135.02 to buy calling at the bottom. I think Apple can easily go back to this area of 148 within the next couple of days. But overall, if you're trading, for example, futures or you're trading options on futures, guys, which I highly recommend, 
um, it, it, despite of what kind of account size you have, because there's a ton of advantages uh, of doing so, you can definitely, definitely uh, find some killer trades in NASDAQ right now. So NASDAQ is an index overall, right? Uh, is positioned to outperform uh, Russell, it's positioned to outperform uh, Dow Jones, it's positioned to outperform uh, S&P 500. So the setup here, in a way, it looks like a head and shoulder, okay? And it looks like things are gonna break down. And that's what the whole world is seeing right now. Keep saying, well, there's no way Apple's got another 20% to go lower. We're saying, look, this is the bottom, okay? So we're gonna have a huge, huge move in NASDAQ. We're gonna have a huge move in NASDAQ to the point, uh, to the magnitude of maybe a thousand points from here. So fast forward one week from now, uh, this is a chart for November 7th as of the market closed uh, last night. Uh, and so we could see a humongous move. I mean, we could see 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 point move in NASDAQ over the course of next 7 to 10 days. And majority of that move could arrive here, uh, you know, today, midnight, November 8th, tomorrow, November 9th, November 10th, of course, the whole world again is going to be scared of the CPI number. Uh, we've done our statistics on the CPI number. There's actually over an 80% probability that regardless of what CPI number is going to be announced, that the market will respond positively. In other words, all these CPI numbers where we had some big crashes and the market is just, Ugh, you know, can do nothing, goes in shock mode and drops. Uh, those those are over. So this CPI number should be a good solid catalyst for the stocks to actually reverse that negative trend and move higher. So after calling all the bottoms in many different sectors, remember that not all bottoms are the same. Sometimes they're easy to spot. Sometimes it's a bottoming process. And now that pretty much all the sectors bottomed out, we have a ton of room to have a substantial move higher. So uh, if you're wondering how to position yourself on some of these names, I'm giving you the names. I mean, they're easy, but what you want to know is what strike to get. You want to know exactly when do you enter? Do you enter right at the market open this morning? I'm recording this like 7 a.m. Do you want to, you know, do you want to wait till, you know, 3.59 p.m. today to get in? Uh, do you want to wait till tomorrow morning after all the election drama is over? When is actually going to be your best entry on some of these trades? So your entries and exits is the stuff that's really going to make you the money. If you have any questions, okay, about how to take advantage of these crazy market circumstances, schedule a call, 20-minute coaching call here at 13 Market Moves. Uh, visit 13mmtv.com. Take action today, guys, because this is going to be insane. This move can catch a lot of people off guard, and the options are still mispriced right now. So. Uh, the time to take action, uh, if you're not certain exactly when to get in, what time of the day to put your trade together, make sure you get with a 13 Market Moves coach um, and get your trades right this week. They could make a profound difference in your trading account. So stocks like Meta, okay, ugly chart. Ugly charts are going to win in the course of the next few weeks. So. Uh, and you're going to look back and you're like, man, this chart doesn't look that ugly anymore. See, we begin to have this bullish uh, cross forming, uh, which is a bullish hook at this point. And this is likely to cross over the course of the next seven days. So Meta could be flying back over 100 bucks, 110 uh, easily until it gets against this resistance of 130. So big moves, big moves we could be expecting in, in a lot of stocks good stocks that have been beat up uh, because of these higher interest rate environment. Uh, and guys, this could be the best possible time to pull the trigger on some of these names. The question is, do you know which one's going to do the most? Which one's going to outperform? Uh, what strike, what expiration is going to make you the most money? Uh, you know, these trades are easy. But some of these trades are going to substantially outperform. Like on some of these trades, you can do 2, 3x. Some of these trades are going to run 10, 20x. Do you know which one is going to be a 10, 20x? If your answer is no, then uh, get, get in touch with the 13 Market Moves uh, coach today and, and get yourself going. Get signed up, okay? Uh, it costs you nothing, absolutely nothing to get signed up with a coach and start trading today. Um, so this is the second sector, guys. 
that I believe is going to be highly, highly bullish over the course of the next few days. So first is the banking sector. Second is the technology sector. Uh, you know, stocks like NVIDIA, guys, have been our uh, favorite recently. And I mean, this stock is fixing to rock. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if this stock, I mean, it's at 143 now, if it went to 160 bucks, 165 by Friday. I mean, this is the kind of move that we're expecting. We expected a little bit of that move maybe to 150 last week. It's got a little bit of a delay effect. This thing is going to rock to the moon. This move is going to be brutal. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, I mean, this move to the upside um, is going to be happening a strong, strong volume. The options are going to be appreciating like crazy on this thing, uh, call options. So get ready to rock on NVDA probably as far as technology stocks could be our favorite play. Uh, now, there's some stocks that as a result of a Republican win are not going to do so well. Stocks like alternative energy. So stocks like FSLR, which you know we have been highly bullish on for quite some time. I uh, actually scaled out of the trade at about 157 last week. Um, since then, the stock has dropped off, but there could be more pain for the stock. So this is not the time to buy the dip on this one. Uh, it's got a major bullish, uh, major bear divergence at this point developing uh, all over the board. So stocks like alternative energy stocks like FSLR, uh, RUN, uh, stocks like this, guys, they're not going to do very well in, uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, EMPH, okay, not a great stock. It's done incredibly well but that good time is over for alternative energy and for that reason you didn't hear me mention you didn't hear me mention uh at tesla because tesla is in a way tied to alternative energy and so tesla is not going to do as good as apple and amazon um is not going to do as good as nvidia because it's in a way related to that sector and that sector is going to underperform <clears throat> that sector I'm not saying go short Tesla here at 197, but I'm saying this sector is going to be under pressure. So we've got some nice moves here to the upside on the stock. Um, and, you know, at this point, there's nothing bullish right here. It doesn't necessarily mean the stock is going to crash, but there's still room, for example, to short some other names in the sector without having to short Tesla. So FSLR. Uh, again, one of them is still pretty much super close to the top, still could drop to maybe 135, 130 from here over the course of the next uh, few weeks. So there's some definite sectors, guys, that are going to benefit from this Republican win. And there's some sectors like this alternative energy sector that's not going to do well. And and then there's some there's some stocks to watch. I'm going to give you one stock that I think is going to produce a 20x trade. But I'm not going to tell you exactly which side to play it on. And the stock is LMT, Lockheed Martin. So this chart, I could show you an alert where we were bullish on the stock right here at 390, 398 area. Right here, we were buying calls on it. The stock had phenomenal run since then. And at this point, what do you think? Is it going to run higher? Is it the best shorting opportunity you've ever seen? Guys, I've got a killer trade in store. And if you want to take this trade with a 13 Market Moves coach today, tomorrow, this could be a 20Xer, 30Xer right here. Okay, sign up today. All you have to do, sign up to take a couple of 13 Market Moves courses, get yourself educated, um, and begin trading with the coach, guys. Some of our guys will go from making <clears throat> 50000 to making two, three million dollars in the next 60 days, guys. That's a fact. It's going to happen. Uh, the only question is, are you going to take action today and sign up? And is it going to be you? That's it. It's that simple. So don't waste time. Click the button somewhere around this video. Go to 13marketmoves.com. Sign up. Talk to somebody here at 13 Market Moves and get yourself going on the right side of the market, which could be going higher for as long as next 60 days while the rest of the world is still highly bearish. Trade the third in market moves. I'll catch you guys in the next video soon. Let's roll.